Welcome back creators. Today, we're diving into Unreal Engine 5.4 to show you how to bring your custom character into the game step by step. In this tutorial, we'll cover every step to get your character moving smoothly, including setting up an easy IK foot rig so they interact perfectly with the environment. Whether you're new to Unreal or need a better workflow, by the end, you'll have a fully functional, game-ready character with foot placement that adjusts to any terrain. Let's get started. First, launch Unreal 5.4 and create a third-person game or use an existing one. You'll need a custom character with a skeletal rig. If you need one, just go to my webpage and download any of my characters. The link will be in the description. Make a new folder for your character to import into the folder. Before finishing the import, keep the skeleton at none and under advanced, select use T0 as ref pose. Import all and save all. Next, we want to find the ABP Manny by going to Characters, Mannequins, and Animations. Right click to retarget animations. In the pop up, select your character as the target skeletal mesh. Try out the animations to see if they work. Depending on your character type, highlight the ABP Manny or Quinn and click Export Animations. Right click in the Characters folder, create a new folder, and name it Retargeted. Click Export Animations, rename the blueprint ABP and whatever your character's name is. Now, test the animations to see if they work. When you are satisfied, save all. Open the newly made animation blueprint and notice we have a lot of warnings. We will fix those in a bit Go back to the ABP Manny and retarget animations again. Choose your character and highlight ABP Manny or Quinn again. This time, click Export Retarget Assets and make a new folder under the Character folder. Name it Rigs. Click Export, save all if needed. Let's duplicate the third person character blueprint and rename it BP underscore your character. Go to project settings, maps and modes. Under selected game mode, change the default pawn class to the player character blueprint. Now, change the Skeletal Mesh asset to the player character in the player character blueprint. Switch the Anim class to the player ABP. Run the game and see that it works with issues. Open the character ABP and open the land state.
As you can see, the land node is reddish brown. This is because the original class has an additive to the animation that this one doesn't. An additive is an extra animation blending into the main animation, such as a head turn or arms waving. Double click the land animation and scroll down to the additive anium type. It says no additive. Change it to say local space. Change the base pose type to frame from this animation. The ref frame index is 26. You can refer to the original ABP Manny to see these settings. Save all. Now the land node is green. However, this doesn't mean the problem is fixed. Click the sequence player jump in the compiler results to see the next issue. Highlight the jump node and search for the loop in the details panel. Turn the loop off. Compile and see the warning disappear. Run the game and see that the jump land works properly now. Let's fix these other warnings in the control rig. Click the control rig in the compiler results. This opens the main graph of the anim graph. Click the control rig and look for the control rig class. It is set for the mannequin, not the player character. We need to create a custom control rig. Go to your player character skeletal mesh and right click, create a control rig. Rename it to your player character foot IK. Move this to the rigs folder. Open this up and see that there is nothing here except a forward solve node. If you return to your character's animation blueprint, click the folder icon for the control rig class. This will bring you to the basic foot IK for the mannequin. Open it up. There are all kinds of things going on here. First, we need to copy the foot trace and paste it into our functions tab for the character. Make sure there are no red areas in the function. Next, copy all of the variables and paste variable into the variables tab. Compile and save. There will be some new warnings here. Go to the forward, solve, and compile. The warnings have gone away. Copy the forward, solve code, and paste it in the forward, solve graph. Connect it up. Compile and save all. Scroll in and notice that there are some red items here. This is because the IK is not actually connected. Return to your character's animation blueprint and see that nothing has changed. Change the control rig class to your character's foot IK. Compile and save. The warnings went away. However, the IK problem still exists. Click the foot trace one node and reset the IK foot bone in the details panel. Now set the first one to bone and the second to IK foot L. Compile, save, and then forward solve. The forward solve repositions the bones when something new is added. This has fixed the issue for this node. Do the same for the remaining IK.
compile, save, and forwards solve. Close and reopen the file to make sure they are saved. Notice the sequence. It says outdated. Right click and select update nodes. Compile and save. Everything should be good. Run the game and see that everything is cool. And there you have it. Your custom character is now fully rigged and ready to conquer any terrain in Unreal Engine 5.4. If you enjoyed this video and the others on this channel, please consider sending a few bucks to my Cash App. This helps support the channel so I can continue bringing quality content. Thanks for following along, and I hope you're excited to take this setup even further in your own projects. Please hit the like button, subscribe for more Unreal Engine tips, and comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Happy creating! Hey!